Hello, and welcome to another episode in the Georgia Workers' Compensation video series. My name is Jason Perkins. I'm an attorney who specializes in handling Georgia workers' compensation cases. I created this series of videos to provide people who've been hurt at work in Georgia with helpful information about Georgia's workers' compensation laws and the benefits they should receive under those laws. Now, let's jump straight into today's topic. Today, I'd like to talk to you about meat processing plant injuries. Now, in the United States, we eat a lot of meat. Because of that, many people work in meat processing plants. Unfortunately, the work in these plants can be dangerous. And as a result of that, many people who work in them do suffer work-related injuries. Um, now, before I jump into the specifics about meat processing workers' compensation injuries, it is important to mention that this video is talking about Georgia's workers' compensation law. Each state has different workers' compensation laws. So if you're dealing with a workers' compensation claim in a different state, then the things that I mentioned in this video are not likely to apply to you. But if you're dealing with a workers' compensation claim in Georgia under Georgia's workers' compensation law, then they should. First thing I'd like to talk about is the different types of meat processing plant workers' compensation injuries. Um, there can be all different types of injuries in a meat processing plant, but some of the common types of injuries include repetitive use or cumulative trauma injuries. These are injuries that don't develop in one specific event, but instead they develop over time as a result of many different traumatic type events. They often occur in meat processing plants because of the fast speed at which people are required to work and to do their task within the plant. Um, a common type of repetitive use injury is carpal tunnel syndrome, um, which affects your arm. Um, but repetitive use injuries can affect all different parts of your body. A second common type of meat processing plant injury is slip and falls. Um, people can slip and fall because of slick flooring or because they trip over items that are mistakenly dropped on the floor. Um, again, this type of injury can affect any part of, part of the body, really. A third common type of injury to meat processing plant is a crush or amputation type of injury. This type of injury can occur because of working around dangerous equipment or machinery. Um, it can also occur as a result of the cutting instruments that workers are required to use to process the meat. Um, now, if you do suffer a work-related injury in a meat processing plant, um, in Georgia, what sort of workers' compensation benefits should you be eligible to receive? Well, under Georgia's workers' compensation law, there's three basic types of workers' compensation benefits. The first is wage loss benefits. Um, these are temporary total disability or temporary partial disability benefits. The difference is that temporary total disability benefits pays you when you're completely unable to work as a result of work-related injury. Temporary partial disability benefits pay you based on you losing money as a result of workers' compensation injury, but it's not a full loss, it's a partial loss. So these are often paid to you when you're back at work, but working light duty and making less money as a result of your injury. A second type of benefits is medical benefits. Um, these are generally not benefits that are paid to you. They're paid to the doctor, the hospital, um, the different medical providers in your case, but the workers' compensation insurance company pays for the medical treatment and testing that you need as a result of your injury. So they covered 100%. You don't have any copays or deductibles. So you're not going to worry about paying for the medical treatment that you need as a result of your injury, as long as it's related to your injury and with certain authorized medical providers. The third benefit that Georgia workers' compensation law can pay is something called permanent partial disability benefits. These are benefits that are paid to you if you suffer a permanent impairment as a result of your injury. You'll end up receiving something called the permanent partial disability rating, and the amount of the rating will entail you to a certain number of weekly benefits from the workers' compensation insurance company. Now, a question that many people have after a meat processing plant injury is where they can go get medical treatment, or can they choose their own workers' compensation doctor? Under Georgia's workers' compensation law, the answer is it depends. Um, if your employer followed the rules and posted a proper panel of physicians 
and explain that panel of physicians to you, then generally you're going to have to pick a doctor from that panel of physicians, at least at the beginning of your worker's compensation claim. You're going to have rights at some point to change to a different doctor on that panel of physicians, but you're going to have to stay within that list. Now, if your employer did not follow the rules, they didn't properly post a panel of physicians, it wasn't done properly or wasn't posted at all, you may be able to choose any doctor that you want to choose your worker's compensation injury. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, the answer is it depends on what your employer has done and whether they follow the rules properly. Now, even if they did follow the rules, while you may initially have to treat with their doctor, there may be some things that can be done later in your claim to get you changed over to a different doctor, either for an evaluation or actually a full change in your authorized treating physician. Now, many people also have questions about what happens if they cannot return to work after an injury. Work in meat processing plants is very physically demanding. Because of this, it can often be difficult to return to work after a serious injury. As I mentioned earlier, if you're out of work as a result of your injury, you should receive temporary total disability benefits, which is workers' compensation's version of wage loss benefits. It's not your full loss wages, it's a percentage of them, up to a certain maximum amount, but that should be paid to you weekly. However, these benefits do not go on forever. Under Georgia's law, there's limits on how long you can receive these benefits. And another important thing is many people's temporary total disability benefits get reduced at some point after their doctor has released them to light duty. Whether the benefits get reduced or not depends on how much of a weekly benefit you're receiving, um, but many people do get affected by that. It can be hard to get by on workers' compensation benefits, and it can be especially hard if those benefits actually end up getting reduced to a lower amount. I hope you found the information in this video helpful. If you have, please consider two things before you go. First, I really appreciate if you give this video a like or a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel if you'd like to be notified of future videos in the Georgia Workers' Compensation video series. Second, if you've got workers' compensation questions, please reach out to get answers. I offer free consultations in Georgia workers' compensation cases. If you'd like to set one of those up, there's two easy ways you can do so. The first is by calling the phone number at the bottom of the screen, and the other is by reaching out to us through our website, which is www.perkinslawtalk.com. Just click on and submit the free consultation request form there, and a member of our team will reach out to you and get a consultation scheduled. I'd like to thank you again for watching this video today. I'd like to wish you the best of luck as you recover from your injuries.